We're here in Georgia at Fort Benning, and we're on the grounds of the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit. Talking to Lieutenant Colonel Don King. He's the commander of this unit. Good to see you, sir. It's great to, great to see you. Tell me about being the commander of this great unit. Uh, well, it's a unique uh, opportunity, and I'm uh, proud to have this opportunity to uh, command this unit. Uh, it's, it's a unique in itself. Uh, most of the units that I have commanded in the past have been unique. Once again, I find myself in a very unique position. Um, I've got the opportunity to command probably the best marksmen in the United States Army to include the United States. And on the eve of the Olympics, I'm very proud with the uh, the total of six Olympians that we have from the unit going forward and the one soldier uh, that's going to be participating as a Paralympian. Um, and if you didn't know, we also have two of the spouses from unit members that are actually participating. So as far as uh, the unit being part of this organization, right now it's probably a very proud moment for me and as sure for the unit itself. When you, you know, we watched you earlier taking a group picture with the with all the guys and then with the with the two spouses. When you're surrounded by these guys um, and, and these and these men and women, um, you know, you, of course you feel pride in this country and you've served very valiantly as special forces. You're a ranger. I mean, you've served this country very, very, and we appreciate it. Um, but when you're around these these um, these shooters, does it feel different? Um, do you get a different feeling when you're around them? Um. I would say yes and no. I, I get a different feeling because it's a, a unique, different breed of soldier. I mean, um, they are truly experts at what they do. They're truly proficient at what they do. And watching them today during this media event has been pretty impressive. I mean, not only the ability that they have, but the way that they've been able to just tell their Army story to, to the media. Um, that's very impressive to me. Like uh, other organizations, they have specific missions. The mission here that we have is we do a great job supporting the recruiting mission for our force. Uh, we also do a great job of uh, research and development and for training soldiers and the advanced marksmanship uh, capabilities that we have. So as far as how I feel about the unit, a lot of pride. And as far as the uniqueness of this organization, once again, I mean, it's unmatched. And, and you get to see that every day, especially when you watch them train and then you, when you watch them compete for the Army. And as the Olympics come up, not only are they going to be competing for the Army, but they're going to be competing for their nation. So that's going to be exciting to see what uh, U.S. Army soldiers will do for this country. So very, very proud. What kind of recruiting tool is this unit when people see this, especially when they're, they're going to see on NBC, they're going to watch it online, they're going to watch it on TV, they're going, they're going to show the backstories, and they're, going to, they're all going to say for these, for these soldiers, U.S. Army Marksman's Unit, you're going to get a lot of interest. Um, how does this serve as a, as a recruitment tool, and then what do you do with the people who come here for that with them to get them up and running? Well, for us, it's a, it's a big strategic message, especially with the, the media uh, the coverage that we're going to get for the Olympics. It allows us to really project across our nation to connect you know, our nation to our soldiers. And that's, that's the big piece. Hey, these are your soldiers. This is what they're doing. This is how they're representing your country. Um, through that, we'll definitely get people that, uh, that have an interest, and it'll spark an interest in me. Like myself, this is how I joined the Army. I watched a special on Ranger School, and I would say probably a week later, I dropped out of college and I dropped into the Army. So um, media has a big impact, um, especially for, for young men and women that really aren't sure what they want to do or, or what their paths uh, you know, lie ahead for them. Um, the Army's been a, a great, I don't know, tool for me. Uh, it's, it's given me a lot of focus. It's giving me what I have today. And it's it allowed me to work with great people, great soldiers, great civilians, great, the great Army family that I'm a part of today. You know, here at NRA News, we talk to a lot of um, young shooters. We talk to a lot of, you know, your 4-H clubs, your junior shooters. And to a person, they're more respectful. They're more well-spoken. Uh, they're nicer. Um, and I imagine you see that as well. Well, they have to be nice to you or there's, there's going to be push-ups done. Um, but do you notice that too when, when, you, when you meet these young shooters and when they come in to, to see you here? I would say uh, the example, the only uh, comparison I have are the soldiers that we have here. And, and with their backgrounds, the way they were raised, and, and with the, the family values that they have, absolutely. Um, I would say almost every soldier that I've met, especially in this organization, is that quality of individual we're looking for. And we are looking for the best. I mean, not everybody gets the opportunity to serve here. You've got to be the best, and you've got to prove it every day. And uh, I think that's uh, what's key about this organization and with the Army. We're looking for the best to be here. And, and we, we want to bring you in to be a part of this family. 
what would be your uh, your your final piece of recommendation, your final piece of advice to someone who's before they come to you, before they come here, what should they do to hone their skills, what should they do to get ready for a possible shot at this team? I'd say the best thing for them to do is to practice, practice, and practice some more. And then when you think you've practiced enough, practice more. Because that's all these, these men and women do all day, right? They practice, they train, and they continue it. And up till this point with the, with the, with the media interviews, is they've, they've trained up to the, the moment they spoke to you, and when they're done, they're going to go back to shoot again because they've got less than 10 days to prepare and move forward for uh, the, the 2012 Olympics. Thank you, sir, and uh, we thank you for your service to our country. Thank you very much.